Yeah, welcome, Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist. I've had a few requests to um, go with another one of Eleni Allen's videos, so we'll turn to that now. We'll go with Eleni. Here's Eleni here on the subject of Mother's son is her surrogate husband, golden child, covert incest. I'll put the link to this in the description below, and let's go... Um, with Eleni's video, and then we'll do a scripture at the end. Enmeshment, otherwise known as emotional incest, covert incest. Mother's boy, daddy's girl, mama's boy, and the golden child. Um, basically, this is where the parent enmeshes the child and adult child later on in life um, to the parent and the parent uses the child as an extension of themselves um, for their own needs and their own gratification and to fulfill any missing part that the parent has and uses the child to uh, fulfill that part in the parent so the child is initially treated as an object for the parent the main object Within this is for the parents' needs, not for the child's needs. Um, and in my opinion, this is a false relationship, even though surfacely they can look very close, uh, wherever mother goes, the, the son goes, and where if mother's sad, he's there, son's there. He is his mother's surrogate husband. So let's have a look at uh, what Kenneth Adams says in his book, Silently Seduced. He says, there is nothing loving or caring about a close parent-child relationship when it serves the needs and feelings of the parent rather than the child. Now I think this is a very valid point because with the mother's boy dynamic, daddy's girl dynamic, the enmeshment, there is not the thought for the child initially, even though they may be given gifts, um, you know, and being told how beautiful they are, how amazing they are, and boy, they do so well. Even if they do something wrong, it's covered up. But still... This is um, these sweeteners are used to serve the parent. It's used to serve the parent, not the child. And it continues to say, um, right, uh, the, the parent rather than the child, which we said, uh, feeling close with your parent, particularly the opposite sex parent, is not the source of comfort the image suggests. And I actually believe this to be true because the image suggests that they're, they're close, they're bonded, you know, mother's hurt, he's hurt. And if mother cries, doesn't matter what the heck is going on in his life, he's going to run to mum. Regardless, he's going to run to mum. And within this, it, it's very difficult if you're an outsider to be looking in on this because you're thinking... Wow, they're, they're, like, they're so close, they're, they're so bonded, but there's that, that undertone that something doesn't feel right. I've experienced this firsthand. I know exactly what Eleni's talking about. And you need to listen closely because this could be a life-changing video for you if you watch this. It could be just happening to you. And you will be right within that feeling because it is not right. Because it serves the needs of the parent, not the child or the adult child. Um, see, what happens within this as well, you have the, um, the disloyalty bind that is conditioned and is programmed into the child, an adult child to feel intense responsibility and intense guilt and this is what drives them this is what drives them to 
um, walk out and leave their, 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 their girlfriends, boyfriends, partners, husbands, wives to rush to the mother's aid or rush to the parents' aid because that, that, that um, disloyalty bind is so powerful and it's so strong. It overrides everything. It overrides everything. Um, so we have here another quotation from Kenneth Adams. Um, it's to be a parent's surrogate partner is to be a, a victim of covert incest. Let's think about it. If just say, um, use a quick example, quick dialogue. Um, mother's intensely crying. She's upset. She feels alone. She's she, she's she's just say she's single or she's in a really bad relationship. But she's crying and she's alone. And the son, and this actually happened to me, my husband would stay um, overnight at his mum's for, for, I'd say, a good nine years of, of our relationship. Every week he'd stay overnight with mum. And he would, they would be in, in her bedroom on a night and they would, well, I don't know, watch TV, but 100% he, he would stay in his mum's bedroom um, I don't know, like for the evening before he went in his own bedroom, which he did still have his own bedroom at his mum's, um, which was a big issue, but that's another story. But he would spend the evening where he used to stay with his mum in her bedroom, watching TV together and her talking intimately about her, her own needs and her frustrations. And my husband would comfort her. He told me himself, I had to reassure mum that I'd always be there for her, that I always love her and I, I will always be, be, be there for her and I need to be there for her. And I'm picturing this. I'm wondering what actually went on in that bedroom. I'm, I'm pretty sure there wasn't any, you know, se you know sexual um, stuff, but the undertone, I guaranteed would say that there was a sexual undertone with that. How did he reassure his mum upstairs in the intimacy of her bedroom on her bed? Did he, did he hold her like a husband? Did he reassure her like a husband? Yes, he did. It's not a child's place, adult child's place, to hold their mum and reassure them of their um, intimacy needs and really tell them that they're there for their intimacy needs and to actually be there for her as and when she needed is what she done as well. If my husband spent a day with me, she would have these fake panic attacks where my husband would have to rush over there. And there was um, times where my husband would say, oh, I had my hand on, on mum's chest. Oh, I should have felt a heart beating. I had to keep my hand on her chest. This is the job of, of a husband or partner not a son's place to be touching his mother's chest to reassure her, to comfort her. That is emotional incest, psychological incest. And I appreciate that, you know, m my husband was late 40s and he's still lying on bed, on his, uh, on his mother's bed, holding her and reassuring her. This is not natural. This is not right. This is emotional covert incest which he did not know we could say he didn't know any different because he doesn't know but that disloyalty bind holds him to there he's he's, he's been trained to be his mother's surrogate husband and that's the place where he is so we continue um we have here as well let me get this Again, Kenneth Adams, they become their parents' emotional and psychological lover and companion. Here, no physical touch was necessary for, sexu for sexuality to be intruded on and violated. They are victims of covert incest. There is boundaries that are broken within this relationship. If the child adult child 
becomes the mother's or, or father's emotional support, um, counsellor and um, to be the parent's, you know, source of all can work in the other way as well if the relationships crossing maternal boundaries it's not just mother to son it can also be son to mother the parents preoccupation this is not healthy this is covert incest it is a false relationship and the, the child and adult child develops a false self and um, it continues, Kenneth Adams continues to say in, in his other book, When He's Married to Mum, a mem, which is mother enmeshed men, which it can be, um, be between father and daughter too, but we've got here, a mother enmeshed man develops a false self to act out the roles required of him. Meanwhile, the true self becomes smothered and suppressed. As a consequence, his life force is stifled. And it continues to say he must let go of who he is to adapt the role of who he must be. When he loses his identity, he adopts a false self who lives only to please his mother and by extension all others, while his true self is smothered and neglected. And this is what happens to the true mother's boy. The real self is neglected and is covered over and is smothered. It's suppressed. They live and breathe the role for mother. Their true selves is just caked over and buried away for mother for the role of mother and these people have been conditioned so in my opinion the real mother's boy is a false relationship based on false um, closeness and false relationship because all their relationship is doing is serving the needs of the mother not the child not the adult child the adult child has been emotionally, psychologically abused to serve the mother and become the role of a surrogate husband, surrogate partner for the mum. Not a good place, not a good place at all. And in my opinion, there really needs to be more of this sort of information out there for people to know because it is not the great image that it suggests when you see a child adult child so bonded to mum or dad right thank you very much for listening to um my video uh please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment in the comments box tell me what you think tell me what you feel i would love to hear your stories and we are not alone if we are partners of these mother's boys we are not alone. There's a lot of us out there. And if you are the mother's boy, please learn as much as you can. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.